Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this tutorial is on how to paint and get a good look on the, the rocks you cast for your diorama. So this is another diorama tutorial, and um, what we have here is some rocks that we cast with HydroCal, came out of our molds, and in the last lesson I showed you how to do that. And this, this lesson now we're going to paint them up and make them look like real rocks. A couple of the things you need is a variety of different colors, watercolor paints, Predominantly, some kind of a gray or a black would, is, is the most important one, but a few other colors would be nice, and also some terrain material, some turf, and maybe some shrub, shrub kind of material. So, um, there's two specific techniques I'm going to show you. The first is called washing technique. That's where you take your stone, and this stone I started already, and you just wet it down really good, and then you apply a little bit of gray to it. Gray or black would be fine, and keep washing it. Now, you spread that out. And what happens is you can see how it's not consistent across the whole stone. And that's great. That'll give it a very uneven, stony kind of look, which we like. The most important thing is to cover all the white, unless you very specifically want white as some kind of quartz or quarry to show through. But spread that around like that. little bit of color. The, the, the color will quickly be absorbed by the stone. Now once you've got that, I'm not going to do this whole stone just to keep this a short tutorial, but once you have some kind of a light base laid in, you want to go back with a pure color, your black, and just touch, touch it in different spots and it causes highlights. Give you some nice highlights and wash them again. Now the color will run, the black will run and it will look really good. So that's the washing technique and um, can also use a little bit of green, maybe this algae on that rock. It adds a little variety. So we mix that right in there. You know, because rocks, it'll make it look very natural, a little bit of green. Well, generally, just highlights, just some highlights like that. Maybe in the, look at the cracks, put some green in there. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you is, that I like to do, is I like to put vines and terrain material right on the stone. It looks, ends up looking really good and one of the things I do is I'll do a line like this. See now we have, and that'll become a creeping vine. It's actually creeping on the rock. Ends up looking really nice. You apply a dab of glue, a line of glue like that and then you spread some texture material on it. When you shake that material off, all that remains is the line. Like that. Looks good. And maybe a little bit of moss. Put that moss right on there too. So what you have is a little bit of um little bit of growth on your stone. And as simple as that. That stone's gonna look terrific. So you touch it up, so keep touching it up. Little bit of color. Some brown, some green. Mostly gray, a slate gray. A stone gray or a slate gray is the best if you have it. Black if you don't. But you really can't mess it up, you just have to be variety. You know that the water's going to soak it into the cracks, it's just going to look really good. And that's it. So that's the basics of um, touching up that stone so it looks really good. And in the next lesson, I'll show you how to um, install that stone into the diorama we've been working on. So we'll cut out a spot and we'll make some decisions and we'll put some stone in there to make it look really good. Okay, um, <clears throat> once again, it's stormycastle.com. Thanks for watching this, this uh, tutorial. i got lots more other tutorials and all kinds of stuff on our website.